this segment because uh, usually we get to chat to real estate agents about awesome properties, but this one is yours. How on earth do you think about leaving a place like this? No, I really, really don't want to leave. Um, it literally is our dream home, but unfortunately uh, the kids have gotten bigger and they're in a school that's quite a distance from there. So, yeah, we're just having to make this hard decision and, and, and move on. Um, and we're just hoping that another family can come in and, and reap the rewards of all our hard work. Zora, we're having a look through the interior at the moment, but I understand that there's uh, quite an outdoor space too. Um, what, uh, <laughs> how, much, uh, how much entertaining do you do in this place? Oh, look, when we, the children were little, we, we constantly entertained. We both come from European backgrounds and, you know, having family and friends around to uh, eat and drink and share with us was, was a big priority. Um, however, kids, again, being bigger and school commitments and all those sorts of things, we, we don't do it as much as we used to. Mm. Um, but, look, it's, it's the, the perfect space for entertaining. It's, people come and never want to leave. Because <laughs> you've only, you've only kind of been able to enjoy it after the building for five years, is, is that right? Yeah, so we've been there for yeah. five years. We built it. The kids were, you know, um, barely walking when we moved in and we've just got countless memories of such wonderful times and, you know, from bonfire nights and camping nights, obviously great cocktail nights by the pool. Um, oh. Yeah, the, the entertainment's been endless and it's all year round because, you know, um, from being able to enclose the alfresco completely and, and having a, a built-in Tabernaki barbecue indoors, we can enjoy that in the winter and, and as well as the summer. Um, oh, it's literally wow. the best. Oh. <laughs> I, I really don't want to leave, as you can probably tell. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, when it comes to that, like, we're just hearing about some of the incredible features, the teppanyaki area, oh. uh, you know, the, the incredible pool. What is your absolute favourite part of this house? What's going to be the hardest thing to leave behind? Um, look, there's, there's, there's countless spaces there that I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed, but I think on a personal note, I think with life the way it is for most people these days, life being so hectic. Um, I really enjoyed having the opportunity all year round to find spaces that were, you know, created calm and peace and, and tranquility. Um, sitting at the windowsill that's built in, in the old fresco overlooking the pool and the lawns and up at the gorgeous sky, that would have to be my number one spot. And what's the Wanneroo area like for people that, that are unaware? Uh, yeah, great. Um, I guess it's filled with like-minded people, especially in the pocket we're in. Um, people just sort of just enjoying a bit more of a relaxed, quiet mm. and peaceful lifestyle. We've got um, sort of countless um, fruit and veggie markets around, which is great for fresh produce. Beautiful continental jelly down the road. Yeah, there's people that own horses and all sorts of things around. So mm. it's a really interesting place to live. And up, up near the kind of Joondalup area, right? Uh, well, quite before Jindalup, sort okay. of heading off the freeway at Ocean Reef Road, turn right, and it's, yeah, sort of just up that way. Mm. So, yeah, the back of Wangara, really. Um, yep. So, yeah, it's 20 minutes from the city, so you can sort of feel this semi-rural, calm, tranquil lifestyle, oh, and it's, wow. yeah, really on the doorstep <laughs> of the city. So, it's, yeah, it's a good location. Um, yeah, just little kids at the moment. Um, if, you know, if our kids were being schooled closer, it would be a different story. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's the perfect location um, for a family who, uh, you know, yeah, have, so have kids in the area um, or, you know, have their businesses around. It's, it's, it's a great spot, even just, you know, the weekend, yeah. you feel like you're on a getaway. Mm. Zora, just kind of keen to hear a little bit more about that garage. I understand that's quite a highlight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the big thing about that was, yeah, my husband is a, um, a historical car collector and that was a big feature for him that he wanted to have that close to the home. And look, that doubles up as an entertainment space. We've actually held functions there for well, seated guests for up to 120 people because oh it has five, five yeah. old doors that open out into the pool and the lawn. Um, yeah, so the garage has, yeah, the boys have really enjoyed that space with built-in TV and, um, you know, all the other sink facilities and the gym and, yeah, so it's, it's set up beautifully. Um, there's, there's probably, you wouldn't want for nothing um, when I'm you're there. I'm starting um, to understand the, uh, the red <laughs> race car in uh, what I'm assuming is your son's bedroom there as well. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the cars are a common thing within this family, that's for oh. sure. Well, I think you've got to go by the saying, better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. And in your case, it sounds <laughs> like best of luck with the, uh, the sale. Thank you for walking us through it. It's such, a, it's such a, a pleasure to get to chat with the owner of the house because they always have such a different story to the real estate agent too. So thank you so much, yep. Laura. Thank you. No problem. Thank you.